Right, okay guys, let's go for a test drive in this beautiful car. Let's go. Designed and built by myself. It took 12 months to produce. Yeah. It's hand built and coach built. Yeah, we've got some spectators there, come straight out of the bus. <laughs> Matching jacket? Yeah, well, jacket's something a little bit special. I got this as a gift. Right. For, uh, by a spectator. By a spectator? Yeah. yeah. To look, so I'll try one of my jackets, I'll do a colour match for you. So just start look. I'm going to give it a bit of a go. You know, I thought these would be a bit difficult to drive. It's the first time I've driven a man in my life. <laughs> As a defender. First yeah, time, you've yeah. never driven a manual defender? No, never. Have you got a manual licence? You don't need a manual licence, you b****. Yeah, right, cool. It's a shame that Land Rover stopped making this, you know. Absolutely a shame. Gonna I mean, as soon as I design, got involved in doing all the build work in it, it stopped. It's transformed. Well, yeah. And then they've stopped it. That's it. I'm going to take you for a little drive. I'm going to show you a bit of Bradford. All right. This is where I grew up. One of my customers. <laughs> no, it's not. It is. Right, let's go have a bit of fun on this. You know what? I'm actually really impressed with the manual gearbox. You've never driven a manual defender? Never. Before. It's such a nice car to drive. Wow, I'm amazing. surprised you can drive manual. I didn't think you could. Let me tell you a little story, my friend. When I was 16 years old, I was selling ice cream. Right. Yeah? yeah. And I had a small trailer yeah. and a Hillman Hunter. And I used to drive that pulling that trailer. I was only 16. Really? Yeah. Is that legal? It was alright them days. You can get away with it. Just I'd use my dad's driving license. Slow down, wait for them to come. Wait no, I ain't got time, I've got business to run. Hang it. Don't scratch those wheels. Actually, the gear change is fantastic, mate. Absolutely fantastic. Very light, very smooth. We're getting a bit warm in this jacket. Control from that's okay. I think that clock should have been yellow. We only did in the red there, don't we? No, we don't. Do we not? No, we're a bespoke service, mate. We can offer anything. Good this way. Down to couples. Oh, what have we got for sale here? What's this for sale? Redevelopment opportunity. I wonder what this is. It's a little car park, isn't it? Yeah. Interesting. Do you have a portfolio of car parks? I've got some car parks, yeah. Do you want to see him? Yeah, I'd love to. I'm just, just around the corner for this. Let's go on a tour of your car park. Shall we show you my car park? Let's, let's see. Come on then, let me show you my car park. That's quite a pretty little street there, then. The thing about Bradford is it's got these little tucked away areas that are actually quite really? nice. Really? Shot my hair style Let's get that haircut. Do I need a haircut? Aren't you getting it cut today? Do you like it like this? Do it look swift and suave? Swift. Yeah, it looks swift, mate. That's why I'm trying to get it, you know, I'm trying to go for it too. Okay. Genuinely, I cannot believe they stopped making how this vehicle. It's just so nice. I know. They, I think they've shot themselves in the foot, really. It's safety wreck, sir. I'll it? tell you what. When the new Defender comes out, it's definitely going to be. It will be. Yeah. Well, they've got to adhere to all these new yeah. safety. Look at Mercedes Benz with the G wagon. They've keep kept the style of it. The evolution of it's the same. Um, That's my car park there. Really? Yeah. There's all this. Cars in it, mate. Well, we're just now renovate. We're gonna renovate the um, old sign. Make it into a car park. Yeah. So this is gonna be a 300 that? car park space. I bought that 10 years ago. Did you? Yeah. Just there, rotting. Yeah. This is my car park here. We're just gonna enter into it. Can we get in here? It's all right, mate. <laughs> <laughs> is it gonna hit it? <laughs> is it? <laughs> Just try it, just go really slowly. Just go really slowly. No, I think you're all right, I think you're all right. Go, 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 slowly, slowly. <laughs> Is that one bigger? You will make it. You're fine, just... 
in. You need to have a word with the owner, mate. You get that lift. Yeah. Busy little car park here. So how much do you charge people to park in here? Honestly, I don't know. Probably be three pounds or something, four pounds. <laughs> anyway, let's see if it goes through this one. Oh, this is bigger, isn't it? It's about the it's same. Yeah, I think you're better, I think you're better actually. Yeah, you're good. There you go. Consumer advice can fit into car parks. Because that is a worry for the Defender owner. Mate, stop being so vain. Go. <clears throat> so is that the one and only car park that we got on? There's two car parks there, isn't there? You're enjoying this, aren't you? You're really enjoying it, yeah. yeah. I'm actually like it. It's a nice car. I don't mind having manual. I was thinking about buying one, building another as an automatic for myself in London. But I think I can live with this. You know, we do a hydraulic clutch for it. Really? Which is even lighter. Wow. So you I could put a hydraulic want, cushion. The Defender doesn't want a too light. No, and I thought, you know what? I always said to Monk, you need an automatic gearbox. You don't you want to be driving it manual, but now I've driven it, I think. It's all it's about fine. manual, mate. Anyway, we've talked too much about manual, yeah? Let's talk about what we've done to this car. So what is what have you done to this car? What's different about it? Well you can see inside it, we've totally transformed it, my friend. A bit of leather. First of all, it started off as a commercial vehicle. Did it? Yeah, it started off as a utility hard vehicle. Top. Yeah, hard top. Right, so we coach built it. Yeah. yeah. We took the top off. Yeah. Put the rollover bars in. We've um, changed the um, back apertures of the wings. Right. We put the chrome strip in. Yeah. We put the wide body on, the 20 inch wheels, with the honey honey um, yellow stripe. Honey, honey mustard. Honey mustard. Honey we'll mustard. Yeah, yeah. That's my new name. New name. New name. Honey, honey monster. monster. And then we've got leather trim. Leather trim. We've it's got like a brown pinstripey tw tweedy. Yeah, I guess thing going um, this is um, retro. Yeah, so. Well? Yeah, we've done the Alcantara roof lining. Nice, nice. And the uh, wind visors. Yeah. Steering wheel, pedals. Pedals. Cover box. Wheel cover. Grill. Military grill on this Military one, grill. which is. Doesn't often get off. You know, this car's of such good value. Really? Well, we sell a new one for 70 grand. This is 70 grand and it's a year older than a new one. So it's a year old? Yeah, considering they stopped making it two years ago. What's the mileage on it? The mileage is 7,355. There you go, it's a bargain. They're such a good idea. And they feel really nice. They're not actually cold. You'd expect these to be really, really cold, but they're not. They've got a really nice warm feel to them, haven't they? <laughs> I have a bit of a feel of it, my friend. I'm having a feel. It's very warm, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm not sure in winter though, it might get a bit cold. No, I don't think it would. It's got it's heated, isn't it? Is it? Yeah. Look there. That's the seat, mate. It heats it up at the same time because the heat gets really hot and then it warms again. Up. The only problem is it's diesel. No, I don't think it's a problem. They'll huh? change the mind later, mate. I'm that diesel sure. thing's just a lot of faff. They'll all come back and think, oh shit, we've lost loads of money. But guess what? Diesel's actually not bad. No, do you know what? I'm actually impressed with this car. This is so good. We're going to have to build another one. What colour though? Well, this was a brave choice, wasn't it? So I think we should go for, this time like a brown. A brown? Nice man. Retro what do you think? brown. Retro brown. <laughs> handbrake. Put the handbrake on. So what might be a good idea is good for him to do a walk around of the car. Him? You. Me? Yeah, just talk about the car. So I've been out for a drive in it. Let me tell you a little bit about this car and how special it is. It's a one-off. That's right. the bit you've got to get in. Okay. Yeah. On a, on a serious note, how serious and how nice this car actually car really is. It really is nice, yeah. You know, all the little details, you can see what I've done, little bits and pieces. Everything's got a little bit of a detail on it. It's all attention to detail. Right, so Afsal's told me to tell you about this car, and um, so we'll start off with the obvious thing, that it's yellow. And not any yellow, it's, uh, it's honey mustard yellow. And uh, the interior of the car has had a full makeover, leather trim, big steering wheel. Actually, it's a small steering wheel for a Defender. It's technically off a Sunseeker yacht, apparently. We've got leather binnacle, we've got a bright red clock, which really goes with the yellow. Apparently, shut that door. 
as we go around we've got these big wings that we stick on everything which is really cool we call them aerodynamic style and they're not there's nothing aerodynamic about a defender but it just makes it look really quite cool it looks it makes it look aggressive military that sounds just he loves it he absolutely loves it we've got some uh, mondial retro wheels here chelsea truck company Khan. attention to detail we come around the front so, this is a grill that I prefer to the usual grill we've got on cars. I think it looks pretty cool. It's the uh, military mesh grill. We've got the light surrounds as well matching it, which look pretty cool. You see the, uh, the air conditioning then. It just it looks kind of pure, it's kind of heritage. I kind of like that. I think I prefer it. So basically this car, as you said, started off as a uh, utility vehicle, but he's chopped the top off, stuck some roll bars on it, put some texture in them. Um, below the area is all textured as well. Attention to detail. What can I say? It's a cool yellow 90 Defender. I think he wants to do another one now in a, in a brown colour. Don't ask me why he wants to do brown. But yeah, that's it. That's the Honey Mustard Defender 90 pickup. Which is a representation of Asal Khan's attention to detail.